how's it guys welcome to my youtube channel don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so i'm here to do the wildcard video for the coming game weeks so for this game week i would like to have um in goal i'll take out batchman probably take out batchman i'll bring in um, ramsdale Ramsdale of Arsenal. Arsenal, we have some good fixtures coming out. Um, Mikel Arteta was just named manager of the week of the month, sorry, for the month of September. They won um, three games. Um, they've kept four clean. Is it four? Four? Yeah, four clean sheets. Um, recently, it was really against them um, Spurs that he considered the goal. Um, so you can see Ramsdale's fixtures, two home games coming up. One away against Leicester and at home against Watford. But the game against Aston Villa at home is tricky because Aston Villa, they won the last game at the Emirates. So that game can be very tricky. So I think for his prize, Ramsdale is okay at 4.6. Um, he can be in goal. Then we can have, I think this pair, I have to change it to Ben Foster. Because Foster looks like the number one choice, but we can't really determine. They have a new manager in Claudio Ranier, so he, he would decide to choose between Foster and um, Batchman. But Batchman cost 4.5, while Foster cost 4 million. So that choice is between the two of them. Um, then the defense, I would. Um, Aileen, I don't know about his injury, but I think he, he did um, require surgery for his injury. So um, I'll take out Aileen and I'll bring in um, the Chelsea defender, probably Rudiger. Because Alonso is not nailed to start all the games because Ben Chilwell is now into the team so Alonso is not new to start then um, in midfield I'll take out Greenwood and Jota because Jota's game time is going to be limited because of um, Roberto Firmino um, so Firmino is back is back feet so he's going to start most of the game um, so I'll take out Scarlett and bring in Raul Jimenez. Jimenez seems to be back. He has taken off his um, head bracelet, so I think it's, it's becoming sharper now. Then Ronaldo has to go, I'm sorry, because um, he doesn't look like he has a good coach that can manage his talents properly. So I'm sorry to my you fans, but I'm not sure. Um, Ole Gunnar is the best um, manager and he doesn't really know how to use um, Ronaldo in big games. Even um, Salas Ferguson was expecting Ronaldo to start against Everton. Everyone was surprised that Ronaldo didn't start against Everton. So in midfield, I would bring in um, Riyad Mahrez. I hope the money will be enough. Yes, I'll bring in Riyad Mahrez because Mahrez loves scoring against Burnley. So I'll have my midfield will be Townsend, Mahrez, Salah, Rafinha. Don't take out Salah. Don't never take out Salah. I regret taking him out from my free team. He had a goal and an assist in that game against Man City. Salah is so good. I think he's in the form of his life. He's it's very good right now. So Salah for me is a sure starter in this game in all the games and he's sure to score score goals and he's also on penalties. And Townsend too is good. It's, it looks very sharp, even better than when he was in the Crystal Palace. He's scoring, scoring with both legs, his left foot and his right foot. Um Lukaku, he has good fixtures coming up. Brentford, Norwich, Newcastle, Burnley, then Leicester City. So those games, 
he has just two tough fixtures from now to December. Not even December, like from now, yes, from now to December, he has just two very tough fixtures. So, um, then to to round up the spot for for the um, midfielders, I would bring in. I would bring in a. Uh, uh, an Everton midfielder. Everton, they still have good game, good fixtures coming up. Still have good fixtures. Uh, what my West Ham is not really a tough game because West Ham too, they are not really as good as they were. They were beaten by Brentford, so I don't think West Ham are so tough for for an Everton team that won that where you speak of a draw at Manchester United. So I'll bring in Alan just to balance the midfield because Alan is a starter and he has had this season I think he has had an assist okay he has had two assists already against um, Brighton and also against Norwich so Alan is, is in is, and is also nailed to start so Antonio is also going to be in my front line Antonio his goal, he couldn't get a goal against um, Brentford. The Brentford game was a little bit tough for them. Um, I really don't know what happened. Uh, the, I don't think there was proper link up play between the midfield and the attack. Um, and their defending was also was shady. So, and it was shaky also. So, um, so. Antonio, he needs more service to perform well, in the next coming games. I think he could try. To, it's good. Uh, I think the Europa League games also are having a toll on him, on him. So I hope he, he would do well in the coming weeks. Um, but if not, there are other players that can be used to replace Antonio. And Raul Jimenez is up front. And um, we have um, Lukaku and Jimenez. His fixtures are also very good. He has Aston Villa away, Leeds away, Everton at home, Crystal Palace away, West Ham United at home, Norwich away, Bondi. These fixtures look very good for Raul Jimenez. I just feel it's getting to the heights of last season. So in the last two game weeks, he has returned 8 points and 10 points. So I believe this is going to be my wild card team for game week eight and above. Don't subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you later in my game week eight review video. Thank you.